What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Retro Queen, and today we are coming at you with the best sneaker of 2023, man. At least up until this point, man. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it real quick. <music> So, man, I'm gonna waste my time real quick. Let y'all take a look at this box. We got a regular Azure 13 box, so we skipping all of that other stuff. We're gonna go right into the details and everything. The official name of the shoe is the Air Jordan 13 Retro. Colorway is black, true red, and white. We got some OGs up in here, man. Size 11 and a half, which is my size. Color code and style number is 414-571-062. And they're coming in at 210. 210 of them hefty pesos, man. But we're going to get this box over to the side because we don't even care about that. That's a regular box. And we're going to go ahead and let y'all take a look at these things, boy. Ooh, woo. Come on, man. I ain't even really got to say nothing for real because the shoes just speak for themselves. I ain't going to lie, but it, it done been a while, man. It done been a while. We talking... I think 12 years on these, if I ain't mistaken, something like that, 11, 12 years. But hey, I got them in hand now. I ain't have to pay retail. I ain't have to pay the ridiculous prices, but we got these bad boys for retail, man. Retail boys. Let y'all see this up, down, left, right, all of that good stuff, man. And we finna go ahead and get into the details of it. So, starting right with the very bottom of the shoe, y'all see Air or Jordan brand. I was about to say Air Jordan. Jordan brand hit us with this regular Air Jordan 13 bottom. We got the pods here, all white. Uh, and then we got red outlining. Y'all can see that cat eye right there, that Black Panther's eye right there, man. And um, that's really much, that's really it for real. We got the carbon fiber there, or I call it carbon fiber, cause it don't really feel like the, you know, the real carbon fiber from back in the day. But um, before we get too far into the shoe, I will go ahead and let y'all know, and which I've told y'all plenty of time before, but. I know I got some new people here that might not know, but the Air Jordan 13 was actually modeled after a Black Panther, if y'all didn't know. Um, the side panels is uh, representing this, the uh, whiskers on the you know on the cheeks and everything, and we got the cat eye here that y'all can see, as well as the cat eye that's on the bottom, and then the bottom portion of the sneaker is actually supposed to be a replica of the uh, Black Panther's paw, so that's you know a little bit of history on Y'all make sure y'all go and check it out and stuff. Um, all, all of the Jordans, um, at least the retros 1 through 13 or 1 through 14 that I know, they all have a different, um, I like to call them Easter eggs or a little, you know, little hidden gems within each one of them. So, you know, kind of add to the nostalgia of it a little bit, but that's it, man. We got the, uh, right here going further up onto the upper, you can see the white pods all the way around the sneaker, man. And then going straight up a little bit more, you can see the white here and then we got uh, like a thin... Uh, I guess like a thin layer of new buck suede type, you know, whatever. Y'all let me know down in the comments because I always get these uh, materials mixed up and stuff. But uh, we got that black, black suede -ish material going around on the side of the shoe. You can see it on the inside portion of the sneaker as well. And then um, a little bit further up into the sneaker, you can see the like the uh, lightly tumbled leather here on the toe box area. And then uh, we got it more tumbled on the side leather. And, you know, I told y'all with the uh, cat whiskers and stuff on the side. And then right here towards the back, we got the bubble or the Jordan 23 logo or the Black Panther eye, whatever you want to call it. But we got that right there. And then we got more suede, new book type material here on the back of the sneaker as well. And that's really it, man. Just all black upper, real nostalgic feel. Um, 
the leather quality on it um i ain't gonna really say that it's just you know immaculate quality but it's not trash quality either um I, i'll say it's kind of you know right right where it needs to be good enough to pick up at least and um you can see the jordan right here on the on the bottom tab there written in highlighted in that goldish um did they have that color on the box i don't think so nope um it, it kind of looked like a like that cardinal um like a cardinal yellow or whatever but uh kind of a yellow goldish color got the regular uh <clears throat> new Buck suede style tongue going up black laces nothing crazy and this is what i like man got a red jump man logo with a ring around it and um i think when these came out in 2011 i don't recall the ring being around it but it's been many many years ago i don't remember so y'all gotta let me know down below in the comment section did the Jordan 13s have a ring on it when it released back in 2011 but um that's pretty much it and for the inside of the sneaker man inside all black you know sock liner all black the way that we like it what color jump man they got us all red jump man and i don't know if y'all can see it or not there we go there we go red jump man on the inside but that's really it man honestly i'm just i'm just glad to have these in the collection glad to finally have them in hand like i said it's been years <sighs> i remember when i first wanted them um, i was making a sneaker collection um that i was kind of jotting down everything and i added these to my collection went online checked the resale market 500 plus and i'm like man i know they're gonna release these again i just i just know it and I, I always tell people, patience is definitely a virtue when it comes to these sneakers because a lot of the shoes that they released years ago, if you don't, you know, just have to absolutely have them right there and enough, just be patient and the shoes will come out again. And I must say, Jordan Brand finally answered the call and brought these back out. And um, another good little tip on these, um, I think when they originally released, like in, uh, what was it, 98? or somewhere around there they released them on all-star weekend this was the all-star release and years later we have that same thing going i think it's yeah i, I think it was like 98 or somewhere but that's pretty much what they did again just to kind of bring back that nostalgic feel from day one they brought it back out on all-star weekend yet again man so i always love those storylines behind the shoes and stuff um it, it always just makes for you know good storytelling when you kicking it around and stuff on uh, kicking it with your homeboys and everything and um as far as the resale on these i did see resale shoot up to and which it, it was it was quick like i seen some shoes selling for like 280 290 but then it dipped back down to like 225 or 230 or somewhere around there on um on the goat app so i'm gonna honestly go ahead and tell y'all uh, and especially uh with shot drops and stuff because these had a couple of shot drops so normally when shot drops happen i i personally feel like it kind of decreased the value uh, as far as on the resale market so um if you want to get these i i honestly think uh you can go ahead and just grab them i don't really see resale just shooting up through the roof on them nor do i really see it just dipping down either because it's such a nostalgic shoe so it might stay around that 250 ish you know 230 to 250s price range so i'd say just go ahead and pull the trigger um there might be other restocks and stuff but y'all already know it's hard to tell with the restocks and everything um so definitely go ahead and get these if you want them um i i from what i've been seeing at my local mall and stuff these have been selling out in all of the stores um all raffles were accounted for none of the stores that i went to had extra pairs so they definitely are selling off of the shelves pretty fast but like i said as far as the resale market you can easily be able to get your hands on these without having to pay a crazy hefty price tag man but that's gonna do it for the video y'all make sure it's all like comment and subscribe let me know if you got a chance to get your hands on these let me know if you ain't even want them you might not even know about the nostalgic value that these hold or 13s might not be your thing because a lot of people kind of dip off once it gets past 11 is when you get you know 12 13 14 some 15 but that's where people kind of start dipping off and stuff but let me know if you just didn't even have any interest in them or if you just couldn't get your hands on them but that's gonna do it man like i said like comment subscribe do all that wonderful stuff and without further ado this is your boy richard quinn about